Well, hey folks, PC7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and for today and the next couple days, I'm going to uh, highlight, I guess, three different maps that I've been looking at to replace the, uh, the Kootenai map. This is the first one, this is called Podravina, uh, well, Podravina Remastered, actually. Oh, look at that. What a bonus. Just some hay going hey, hey, hey over here in the corner. Nice. So, as I say, this one is the first one we're going to have a look at. Now, according to the map author, this has uh, mud details and all kinds of different scripts that are written in that he suggests you don't even add anything. So... It's got a Dora scripts written in. And this is where we get seeds and fertilizer, and apparently, you replace these with the pallets from the store. Pallets of seeds and fertilizer. If you stick them back there, they will deshoot through there. Oh, look at that! Back in the day, when cows didn't just magically pop milk into the tank, they actually went through one of the milking machines. All right. Um, apparently you do need to actually dung out these stables. So, very cool. We've got... a bin there. Okay, there's the manure pit for it. This is one of our fields. Hmm. Now, the one thing that I did notice that kind of put me off of this map... Now, I know this is 17 and not 19. Um, so the graphic packages... Oh, wow, are these real as well? They are. Holy smokes. Pretty generous lot of uh, silage bales sitting there for us. I do like the starting gear. I think they're both uh, mods that have been added. We've got this torpedo here. And then there's another slightly different one. The chickens are kind of free-rangey. Like, you'll notice every once in a while, the rooster or one of the chickens wandering around out here. So, yeah, apparently they're capable of jumping the uh, fence. <laughs> yes, all right, all right, all right, ladies. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Here's your farmhouse. You can't actually get in it, and in fact, I seem kind of absurdly tall. Um, <laughs> we have... Our silo is over here, and as you can see, hmm. although that's in English, all of the actual listings are not. But it looks like we've got quite a bit of stuff in there, right? Eh? Oh, that's cool. Too bad they chose coffee beans <laughs> as the thing to, uh, to take it over. But here's the other sort of custom tractor. It looks like uh, looks like something made by Dutes Far, but well, Adriatic. So maybe it's made for another country by them. That would make sense. Uh, big plow, water container. Yeah, see, there's our rooster. There's one of the chickens. So they don't seem to be completely stuck. In fact, these guys are on the opposite end of the yard that the actual chickens are on, aren't they? Kind of strange. Kind of strange. There's another chicken wandering around. Oh, back scratcher. Uh. Nice. Um... Uh. Okay, this is the yard for the cows. It is a very small map, as you can see. Okay, but it does include your sheeps, your cows, your chickens, your pigs. 
And I just got run over, didn't I? Oh, and again. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, yeah, that's your map. It looks like we own, oddly enough, some fields way up there. Well, I guess with the farm here, that's not that far away. We own quite a few. They're all really small fields, which is okay. I mean, as long as you keep the, uh, the equipment scaled to the gear, that should not be an issue. So, animals. Yeah, we don't... Uh, sheep, pigs, and cows. What? The others drove through me. Why did you find it necessary to stop? Awful lot of traffic, eh? And there's a horse, apparently, just wandering around in someone's field. Awesome. Hello! Nope, I can't ride the horse. Okay, animal dialogue again. Oh, wow. There's a massive amount of hay. Holy smokes. They're really, uh... Pretty generous with what they've left behind. Okay, this is one of our fields, and it would appear that it is completely... Po well, not completely. Ah, that's supposed to be mud, I guess. Huh. Really? And does it actually have an effect? Let's jump in one of our tractors. I'll get to that in a minute. One of the things that... Oh, yeah. That's exactly what that is. Not sure that I'd want it right in the middle of my fields, but there you go. Okay. So the mud mod does work. Not bad tractors, actually. There's, yeah, something. It's like it's got the, uh, that mod included that, uh, we can go dollars, not that any of that matters. Vehicle camera, I don't care. We're going to put that off just in case. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. No. Yeah, there's apparently some sort of shuttle thing going on. Um because, yeah, I can't go backwards, I can only break. And I have no idea. I thought it was space, but it doesn't appear to be. Yeah, and it doesn't tell me. No, it's not something I can get to at all, is it? No. Hmm. All right, well, that's definitely something I would have to uh, get rid of, as it were. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't tell me up there anywhere what the... I thought it was switch or the shift, but it doesn't seem to be. No? I don't know. I think we're just going to have to abandon it for now. 
So, I suppose these are real too, aren't they? Yeah, okay. So we've got pretty much a huge supply of stuff to feed to animals. But one of the things that, yeah, kind of turned me off about this map, although it does certainly have some good features, I like that it's got all the gate opening things, were just, in all honesty, the visuals. Like, the textures are terrible. You know, we've got these one-dimensional plants again. They're basically flat, and if you look at them from the right side, they look like these. Yeah. Um, now, as far as I know, these orchards are supposed to be functional. Um, you know, again, this is certainly not... There, there's lots, or there was lots of different orchards available um, to use in FS17, and these seem to be pretty kind of low grade ish. Hmm. The other thing that I found was a little bit off putting is. We've got this little bit of forest here, so you can do a bit of logging. But the issue is, is the map just kind of peters out. <laughs> yeah, that's off the map. Right? So. There are certain parts of that that you can't get back through. So you can kind of walk out of the map and get stuck out of the map. Alright, I guess this is for filling water. Voda, yeah. Oh, yeah, we fill our water tanks. Okay. So that's to refill your water. These are just random properties. Okay, this is where we sow wool. Um, there were little floaty markers here. So I think it was right outside this door, actually. Oh, what do we got out here? I see another. Oh, that door doesn't open. Interesting. It looks the same as the other ones. Oh, maybe that's only in the building. Yeah, I guess that's only on the buildings on our actual farm that you can open these. Hmm. Okay. But that's a wool sales point, and then we've got another sales point here. Okay, this is sort of the barn where you would sell straw and hay, although it doesn't say you sell them, it kind of says you get rid of them. Okay. The shop is just up here. As I say, it's a very small map. We don't even need a, a vehicle to get around, in all honesty. Okay, is this a purchase point for a field? Let's just see what they want, shall we? Oof. Rough morning, dear. All right, she'll pay us to fertilize. 110k for a field. That's not bad. So I guess they're open from 7 in the morning to like 9 at night or something. I didn't look. What time did they say they close? Oh, wow. 11 p.m. Whew. Long hours here. Um... I guess this is our sawmill point of sale. Yeah, a sell point for wood chips. Sell 
cell point for logs. Hmm. And you're not going to tell me anything? What do you look like? Okay, you look like something for chopping logs. And maybe spit out wood chips here. Hmm. Well, this, oh, wait a minute. Did that change? Automatic fill. Here we go. Logs, and it gives us wood chips. So yeah, that's exactly what I thought it was. That's just a chipper. And that's... Uh, so you can either sell straight up logs, I guess, or you can dump them in there and make wood chips and then dump the wood chips there. Okay. Interesting. Let's watch out for the pick up here. We'll take a wander over and have a look at the shop. Same thing, open 7 to 11. Pretty long hours to make your people work. Other than that, though, it's a uh, straightforward shop. You can sell things there. You can buy things here. Again, you know, with all the low-res stickers on the windows. Hmm. It just, I don't know. There doesn't feel like there's a lot of life on this map, you know? I mean, yeah, there's cars driving around aimlessly, but what do we got here? Radnov Rijem. Apparently the same hours of operation. So this is, okay, this is just another standard cell point. Hmm. Uh, find our way, whoa, holy smokes. Now that was a serious chew of lag. Wow. Frame rate drop. Oh, it's doing it again. Weird, man. Why would it do that? Hmm. That is weird. So, I'm thinking that this map maybe sounded a little better on paper than it is in uh okay this is just another cell point and then there should be oops obviously that hedge is shot oh okay i think your sidewalk needs a bit of adjustment man that's uh that's different I've never seen raised sidewalks before. Oh, and this is supposed to be the animal dealer over here. Um, okay. You're, uh, you're actually levitating. And you're... Okay. Yeah, I think... <laughs> Yeah, this is, like I said, this is actually supposed to be the animal dealership. Um, yeah, that works. <laughs> but it's really badly broken, isn't it? Wow. Hmm. Well, I think we can pretty much uh, kick Podravina or whatever the heck it is here out of the queue, to be honest with you. But, I did say I would leave it up to you guys, so if you actually want to see me try and do the play on this map, we can. But I can almost guarantee that anything else we look at is probably going to be better. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. All right, I think that's, uh, I mean, I know it's only a 20-minute episode, but there's really not much more to show, 
And yeah, we've also discovered that things are a little bit broken. Huh. So we'll, uh, we'll put this one in the can, put it up, let you guys have a look. And uh, then we'll move on to something we might actually play. <laughs> That's too bad. I do like these tractors. I do. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if they'll show up in the mods, though, that I can snort them. But there you go. Probably shouldn't anyway. Eh? All right, guys. That's going to do her. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think. I don't, uh, I don't really see this one as being too much in the running. Which is kind of a shame, considering I had to go to like eight different websites before I finally found one that wasn't so uh, full of malicious malarkey that not only Chrome, but also my antivirus would not even allow me to stay on the page long enough to download. So, what do we got here? Kind of a muddy, foresty sort of... I don't know what this is supposed to be. I think this is supposed to be a forest. Yeah. All right, this map is broken. Um, yeah, really broken. Hmm. All right, guys, take care of each other. We'll uh, we'll catch you here for the next one. <laughs> Ciao for now. <laughs>